Good morning all. Hope you have gone through the yesterday's session. We have learned what is a hardware and what are the major components of a computer and we have seen the difference between computer architecture and computer organization. Today we will learn about the components of computers in short. We will see what is uh, uh, the meaning and the, what are the major functions involved with uh, these units. Uh, first we will see input unit then output unit and what is the meaning of storage or memory unit and we will see uh, the purpose of using central processing unit that is CPU. And we will uh, learn one more topic in this particular session about storage capacity. We are storing the data inside the computer in terms of bits um, and it can be of uh, type byte that is the uh, group of bits. So we will learn about this in this particular session. So what is an input unit? It would be composed of those devices which take input from the users and it will convert it into binary form or the digital form which the computer can understand. So it acts as a medium through which user can send information into computer. So major functions include it will accept the data and instructions from the users. It will convert the analog data that are connect, uh, collected from the users into computer acceptable digital or binary form. This process is known as digitizing and this digital data will be supplied into computer for further processing. So these are the major functions involved with input unit. Examples for input unit are keyboard, mouse, etc. There are several types of input devices which will be described in detail in the chapter 4. That is the module 4. We will cover the details about the input units and uh, various uh, devices involved under this particular category. An output unit will perform the reverse operation of an input unit. The uh, output unit would be composed of the devices that provide information back to the computer users in a human acceptable form. There are um, several functions involved with this. It will accept the data or information produced by computer which is uh, always in a digital form. Then it will convert it into analog form that can be understood by a human. Then it will be supplied to the users. Uh, mostly the results and the processed uh, data uh, which means information will be uh, supplied to the users. Examples for output devices uh, include printers, plotters. There are many more um, types of output devices and uh, we will discuss about each and every one um, along with the uh, topic output unit um, under module 4. Next one is the storage or memory unit. It's a collection of storage cells together with associated circuits needed to transfer information in and out of storage. We can store information or data inside the computer uh, using the storage or memory unit. The major functions involved are it stores data and instructions to be processed. Then it will store intermediate results during processing. Uh, then it will store final results of processing before releasing it to users. So for storing anything, any uh, data or information or uh, instructions, we are using the memory unit. There are several types of memory including primary memory. It's also known as main memory and we may use secondary memory uh, or we can have cache memory. And registers. Registers are actually uh, part of a CPU but uh, due to its storage capability it can be considered as part of memory unit also. So um, we can consider um, 
register as a memory unit uh, and it is actually part of the CPU. Uh, so we will discuss uh, about uh, the memory, memory access methods and memory hierarchy and we will see uh, each and every category of memory uh, in this particular module. Uh, examples for uh, memory unit include RAM, ROM, magnetic disk also known as hard disk, disk then um, CD, DVD etc. Now we are going to discuss about uh, the major or uh, the most important component of a computer that is known as central processing unit abbreviated as CPU. Uh, it is considered as the brain of a computer system. All major calculations and comparisons are made by the CPU. It is also responsible for activating and controlling the operations of other units of a computer. So uh, CPU is the major component uh, and it is also known as the processor uh, inside a computer. And uh, the structural components inside the CPU include registers, arithmetic and logic unit and control unit. As we discussed, registers uh, are considered as a uh, type of memory and these are small uh, amounts of high speed memory um, contained within the CPU. Uh, they are used by the processor to store small amounts of data that are needed during processing. For example, we may need to store the intermediate result or we may need to uh, store the address of the next instruction like that. For all that, we are using registers. These are coming under the CPU, but it is a type of memory. Uh, next one is ALU that is arithmetic and logic unit uh, performs arithmetic and logic operations. All the operations are performed by this particular unit that is ALU. Next one is control unit. Control unit is having several functions. It will fetch, uh, decode and execute the instructions. It will issue control signals that control hardware components within the CPU and it also transfers data and instructions around the system. So everything will be controlled by the control unit inside the CPU. We will learn in detail about uh, the CPU um, and the co components inside the CPU uh, along with the CPU organization in this particular module. Now we will see what you mean by storage capacity. Data storage capacity is the measurement of how much data can be stored in a storage device. Uh, there are different measures like a bit, nibble, byte, uh, then uh, kilobytes, megabytes, etc. Uh, bit is the smallest unit of data in a computer, which is also known as the binary digit. Uh, it, it is abbreviated as bit. It has a single binary value, either 0 or 1. And nibble is uh, a, a combination of 4 bits or we can say a half byte uh, is known as nibble and byte is a unit of data that is 8 binary digits long or we can say 8 bit uh, is 8 bit group of 8 bits is considered as a byte data storage capacities are measured uh, normally in bytes This table is kept uh, just for your reference, no need to study as such. For example, kilobytes means 1000 bytes. We can store a paragraph of a text document using this particular uh, storage capability. Uh, megabytes means 1000 kilobytes. Uh, we, uh, if we want to store more than a paragraph of text document, uh, we can go for the megabytes capacity. Um, and uh, the next one is gigabytes uh, it is uh, pronounced as gigabytes and it is uh, thousand megabytes 
uh, if we want to for example if we want to store beethoven's fifth symphony we may need uh, gigabytes of uh, storage capability uh, more than that we have terabytes petabytes exabytes zettabytes and uh, even yottabytes yottabytes of uh, memory uh, can be used um, to store information Uh, as there are atoms in seven thousand human bodies, such huge datas can be stored uh, if we have yottabytes of uh, memory capability. Yes. Okay, so, so these are the uh, so these are about the uh, storage capability. Uh, this is just for your reference. You need to study only about bit, nibble, and byte. i have included the uh, topic storage capacity in this particular session for the better understanding of the next day's session uh, actually you need not write uh, the storage capacity um, topic uh, under the components of computer uh, components of computer include um, only the four major components like uh, input unit output unit then central processing unit and memory unit and one more th uh, thing is there that will be uh, discussed in the next session that is system bus it is also part of the co basic components of a computer we will discuss that in the next session so for better understanding i have included the storage capacity topic under this particular session um, so don't be confused with that you just understand what uh, i am trying to convey with you thank you all